But what would you say are the biggest blocks that people have to being truly creative and imaginative? One big block is concerns about what other people think. Mm. That's a big one. Mm. I, I made this thing that I love, but I think other people would like it more if I made it different for them. We don't know what they would like. It's a, it's a really, it's all in our head. It comes back to this thing of what I think isn't good enough. Mm. You know, if I like it, that doesn't mean anything. That's what people think. It's like, just because I like it, that doesn't give it any value. It's like, as an artist, if you like it, that's all of the value. That's the success comes when you say, I like this enough for other people to see it. Not other people like it, so it's successful. That doesn't mean anything because that's, other people liking it is out of your control. All that's in your control is making the thing to the best of your ability. I talk about it, usually the way I talk about it is greatness. And that's the way I thought of it my whole life was, my interest is in making something great, greatness, lasting greatness, timeless. And I came to realize recently, it's all an offering to God. And if you're making an offering to God, you're not thinking about, oh, what's the budget? Or I hope I hope these this segment of the audience is going to like it. We don't we don't think like that. It's a higher vibration. We're making the best we can make to the best of our ability out of love and devotion. That's what it is. And there is no I'm changing it for someone else because it can't be better than this devotional act that we're doing. There is no higher no higher form.